Exploring Algebra, Integer Equations. Jumps to the right show addition of positive integers. Jumps to the left show addition of negative integers. Take a moment to look at our first number line. We start at a positive seven, and if we add negative four, that means that we're going to jump negative four, which is four leaps to the left. We will end at positive three. Take a look at our second number line. We're going to start at the integer negative two. If we add negative three, that will mean that we are leaping back one, two, three spaces to the left, and we will land at negative five. Negative two plus negative three is negative five. Take a look at our third number line. We're going to start at the integer negative six, We're going to add a positive four, which means that we're going to leap forward in the positive direction to the right, one, two, three, four spaces, and we will land at the integer negative two. Show the jumps and solve the equation. For question number one, we're gonna start at the integer positive five. We want to land at positive three. This requires us to move to the left twice, two spaces, one, two. Going to the left is decreasing by two spaces. So we are adding a negative two. For question number two, we start at the integer negative one. We want to end up at negative four. This requires us to make one, two, three leaps to the left, which means we are decreasing our number. So we are adding a negative three to our negative one, which will give us negative four. Question number five, we're going to start at the integer negative five. We want to land at the integer negative two. We will have to make a forward leap of one, two, three leaps in the positive direction to the right. We can record this as plus three or positive three or just three. Negative five plus three equals negative two. Question four, we're starting at positive three and we want to land at negative one. We are going to have to leap one two, three, four spaces to the left, which is decreasing our number. So we have added a negative four. Positive three plus negative four gives us negative one. Question number five, we are going to start at negative three and we want to land on negative five. We're going to have to move and decrease our number by one, two spaces, so that's negative two. So we're adding a negative two to our number. Negative three plus negative two will give us negative five. Question number six. We are starting at the integer positive four. We want to land on positive 10. That is not on our number line, so I'm gonna add eight, 
9, 10. So we are going to have to jump 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spaces. So we're going to have to go in the positive direction 6 units. So I can write positive 6 or just 6. So positive 4 plus positive 6 equals positive 10. Question number 7. We're going to start at the integer negative 6. We want to land on 0. We're going to have to move to the right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spaces to the right. That's moving positively or increasing. So I can write that as plus 6 or positive 6 or just 6. Negative 6 plus positive 6 equals 0. Question number 9. I'm going to start at negative 9. And I want to land on negative 4. So negative 9 to negative 4. I'm going to move positively 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units so that it will be a positive 5 or just 5. So negative 9 plus positive 5 equals negative 4. Question number 9. We're starting at the integer positive 5 and we want to land on negative 1. I'm going to have to decrease my number by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units. So that's moving negatively 6 spaces. So I will have to have added negative 6. Positive 5 plus negative 6 will give me negative 1. Problem number 10, I'm going to start at the integer negative 5, and I want to land on the integer negative 8. I'm going to decrease my number by 1, 2, 3 units to the left, so that's negative 3. Negative 5 plus negative 3 equals negative 8. Question number 11, we're starting at negative 2 and we want to get to negative 11. So we're going from negative 2 to negative 11. I have to go to the left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spaces and I'm decreasing my number so that's negative 5. Negative 2 plus negative 5 equals negative 7. Question 12, I'm starting at the integer positive 6 and I want to land on 0. So I'm going to have to decrease my number by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units. I'm decreasing it, so that is a negative 6. Positive 6 plus negative 6 equals 0.